Okay, you guys. So at the end of the hall, across from Sophia's room, is Grayson's room. Okay, so let's walk right into the middle and do a little turn. And then going down, you have got the rest of the room. So there was the, the door you walk in on. First, um, I'll point out kind of the detail of the room. Uh, we do have a chair rail. The bottom half of the room is painted um, a very bright white, a true white, and so is the chair rail and the floor rails, the closet door, and the entry door. We painted them white, they were cream. Top part is a really deep, dark, true navy. It's a true navy. I like it a lot, it's a beautiful shade. So there's his nightstand. Um, it's, of, it's not nursery furniture, this is like a bedroom piece. But we got it because um, we thought it went with his bed. His bed um, is one of the forever beds, so the headboard, it converts into a full-size bed, not a twin, a full. This is a solid wood piece of furniture. Uh, we bought cheaper furniture with Sophie, and it's not lasting, so we um, invested a little bit more into Grayson's furniture, so it'll last longer. So anyway, so yeah, so there's his nightstand, which will eventually be by his bed. We have um, an antique-looking globe right here. This globe, I think it's beautiful, and I love it, but it was really inexpensive. I found it um, at a Home Goods, which is basically like a discount store for like home decorative items. Um, it's, it's a store where they get the surplus items um, from the major department store, so you can find a lot of nice items for a really good price. So I, I wanted him to have a really nice globe, but I don't want it to break before he's old enough to enjoy it. So I found this one. This was only like, I want to say $20, $25. It was not very much at all. And I loved the colors. I thought the colors really fit the room. I went back and forth on a lamp. I, could, I found a lot of cutesy lamps where they had like a plane or, an, uh, or something like that that would fit the theme. But even the lamps I found that weren't children oriented, um, after a while I thought it was just they were too much. And I ended up really, I, I found this lamp. Um, honestly, I cannot remember where I found it. Uh, maybe a department store? I just, I just don't remember where I found this lamp. But I love this lamp. It's, um, very, it looks very kind of vintage-y. Um, it's, it really fits the, it looks like something you might find on a cruise boat from, you know, the 19, early 1900s or something. So, I really, really liked it. It's got a brown trim, and so, and it's also one of those lamps that it pivots. It's got a pivoting part, so when he's older, he can move the lampshade part. It pivots, the top pivots out for reading. So this lamp will grow with him. And then we have um, the monitor, obviously. Oh, uh, above we have this photo. Um, it's the first streamer. Uh, it is actually, <laughs> this is really neat. So this is a real design photo. Um, back back a long time ago, when they would come up with um, designs or inventions, they would actually draw them very artistically. Uh, this was like a blueprint, an early blueprint for an idea for flying, you know, machines using hot air balloons. Um, the artist is unknown; they don't know who designed this, but um, it's a really cool. We thought we thought it was a neat print, and then the one, you know, this is this part was from the. Uh, designer and then obviously you know we have a reproduction where they've added a matting but I really liked it I thought it was really perfect for a vintage travel thing and yeah it says the first dreamer so and once again the colors are kind of nice and we bought um, a nice wooden frame and had it you know put in she noticed his, his wall is navy and white I found a trash can that was white or navy white and navy so it was perfect okay so then we come over to his bed 
Um, this is Grayson's bed. It's a dark wood. Um, I think it's gorgeous. This, his bedding, I really, really love. Um, it actually, the, the bed skirt looked even prettier when the bed was up higher, but because Grayson's so tall, he can stand up and everything, we had to lower the mattress all the way. We couldn't even do one of the in-between stages. The mattress is literally lowered all the way, but you still get to see how, how fun it is. So, and it's in tans and whites, baby blues, sky blues, and browns. Uh, Grayson's old enough where he can handle a normal bumper so we don't have to put up a breathable one. So I was, I'm able to use the uh, beautiful bumper that came with the set, which makes me happy. <laughs> and in his crib, he's got um, just a toy to play with when he wakes up. Uh, uh, My Pal Scout, which just plays music and it says their names and so forth. Um, this is a projection uh, music soothing nightlight thing. It projects images up onto the ceiling and changes them and sings songs and stuff. So, and it comes with a remote so you can turn it back on from outside. So that's his. Um, there's a little teddy bear I found him that I liked because it looked kind of old fashioned. And here's his comforter. This comforter is great. It's not thick at all. It's just like a heavier blanket. So it's really nice because um, it's it's perfect for Houston weather. Warm but not too warm. So This is something I worked hard to get. This is his um, mobile and it is real. It's wood and cloth and it's um, stitched. This is from Pottery Barn Kids. Um, I'm in love with it. It's discontinued. It's actually been discontinued since I think before Sophie. So I had to hunt it down on eBay. And it took me forever to get it because um, every time I'd find one, people would outbid me and I kept losing them. And finally, I won this one. So, um, if you can tell, the top is designed like a compass with the little tick marks, you know? And <laughs> then it's got these little, these little hand-stitched um, planes. And so, I, I really like it. I think it's, it's got such a fun little feel to it. And the artwork above Grayson's bed, these are reprints of actual... Um, vintage travel posters and then we had them professionally matted and framed in dark wood frames that match the rest of the wood in here. Um, I love this one. This is my favorite one. Isn't that neat? And these are real. These, you know, they're obviously reproductions, but they are <laughs> they are real old travel posters. So, I mean, how perfect is that? And then this one's pretty neat. And so, and then we, we got this one. Actually, this one wasn't one of my favorites. I do like it, but we, we liked that it had something other than a plane to travel by. I liked that it had that monorail idea. So, anyway, cool. And they are matted um, in white on the outside, and then a navy with white trim on the inside. Then if you go down below his bed, um, we have a rug that is a map of the U.S., um, we found lots of world maps, but we already have a world map elsewhere in the room, and so we really liked this mat. Uh, we didn't want the room to, we wanted the room to have a little bit more whimsical elements to it because it is a child's room. So this, we thought, kind of filled the void. We really liked this a lot. This is a really fun rug, though, as you can see. It has every state and every state's capital. And it has little, you know, um, icons to represent the states. And so it's fun whenever we are going anywhere. We'll tell Sophie, okay, Sophie, you know, we're here, and we're going to go up to Oklahoma up here, or, you know, they live over here, and here we are right here, and we're going to go all the way over here to Disney World, and, like, we'll tell her things like that. So, very cool. And then here is our world map. It is a wall decal, and we, we liked putting it, like, in Sophie's room, she has a tree that, ex that spans multiple walls, and so it looks very neat gives it a different dimension and that's what we did with this map. It spans, you know, two walls so it looks really neat. And this map is very, 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 we had every tiny little island had to be put on it. It was kind of ridiculous, so, but it looks really neat. It looks, the white um, looks really sharp on the blue. Okay, and then we have um, the glider. Uh, this is the same glider from Sophie's room. Um, it's funny because in Sophie's room the wood actually did not match her wood of her furniture, but it does match Grayson's. So, um, yep, this is just the same one she had. It's still going strong. I found this blanket with a little plane, and the color seemed really well, you know, really good to match. So, 
That was awesome. I found that blanket at Walmart. It was very inexpensive. And then um, here is his window. I went back and forth on the drapes. Um, I, I did everything from, I didn't like the matching ones for the bedding. Um, I went back to, I found some that, that were navy with a white trim on top, but then it was like too much. And um, it was just hard trying to find drapes that worked. So finally I was like, forget it, I'm getting white. <laughs> So I thought white would look really nice against the blue, and it does. I think it looks really lovely. And they're kind of um, a thick canvassy um, curtain instead of a willowy one, so I think they're a little bit more mannish, I guess you could say, because they're they're like thicker. And they also seem a little bit more like a almost like a like a sack material, which I thought went well with the travel theme. And then for the tie backs, I had planned on making my own tie backs. I was going to sew something, but I never had time for that. So I found these magnetic ones. Let me get away from the light so you can see the detail. And um, they had them in different colors, but I liked the brass because I thought it reminded me of buttons on old suitcases. And they're magnetic little tie backs, so I think they're a really nice little touch in here. Now we have this corner. So this is another decal. I love this. The White looks super sharp on the blue, once again, just gorgeous. And then we have his bookshelf. Um, because we have the chair rail, we had to secure, we had to get a special device to secure the bookshelf to the wall to keep it from tumbling down. Within his shelves, he's got um, navy bins and uh, a dark um, kind of slate gray bin. And we have some toys in them. And I, um, in Sophie's room, I put hers in all four bottoms, and his, it's navy, the slate, navy, slate. And so then we have, um, obviously, some books, and we have some toys. Some of the toys that I thought looked a little bit more fun on the shelves. <sighs> and then, um, this is a very neat toy right here. Let me show you guys this. This opens up, and inside are little figurines and each one represents different um, parts of the world so it's a really neat little it's a really neat little thing it's the globe on the outside so I like this a lot and this was um, his newborn hat uh, <laughs> that a friend of ours made us and I thought it looked really cute there really sweet so up here we have this little um, chest with a leather a fake leather accents and the little you know brackets brads and I like it it looks one the actual images on it I think are just lovely and perfectly suited for a vintage world travel theme and then when you open it there is a compass inside hot air balloon and it's just I just love it and I love the the detail here and I just keep some extra blankets in here but I keep ones that are kind of more like travel -y related travel related this chest is um, not you know super fancy it's it's just a really heavy uh, cardboard but this chest <laughs> this thing is heavy um, so it's got the same kind of um, leather trim I love it says fly the world it says above the crowd, and um, it's just a really nice little accent for in here. And I put, I paired them together. At first, I was worried it was too much, but then I thought, no, it looks good because it's like two pieces of luggage stacked by each other. And so, and what's neat is as he gets older, we can put things in these. We can actually make them useful. Then this thing right here, this is an actual vintage um, clock or calendar. And this belonged to uh, Kyle's uncle. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But it has in it. It's hard to see because it is a little, a little off. But it has his. Um, there we go. It has his date of birth, July, a Tuesday, the twelfth. And before he came, I had his due date on there in the room. So I thought that was really neat. So yep. Yeah, so there that is. We have his um, dresser, which is, I think, just absolutely gorgeous. This dresser was $500, and we got it for $250 because it had some surface scratching on it. That Do you see those tiny little marks, which we could easily fix because they're surface level? We had someone look at it. They are surface level scratches, 
<laughs> that they said we could have fixed um, for no problem, but we actually opted not to because we have it covered anyway. So because of that, we got it for half off, and this is solid wood, not any particle board, so it's super nice. And I, I really like it. Um, it's got a really nice little kind of masculine details. Um, it's pretty, just really pretty. So, And I have this changing table on top. I do not keep um, changing pads on mine because <laughs> I know you can wash them, but they kind of... I don't know. Um, I used to work at a child development center, and we, after we would change each child, we would disinfect the thing just really quick. We'd just spray and wipe it off, and it was nice and clean and fresh for the next kit. And I really liked that idea, <laughs> so um, I don't put changing covers on mine. That's why. And then next to it, now we actually have um, a nice little diaper caddy that I absolutely adore. It's identical to Sophie's except that Sophie has the green and brown and pink one. So that should go right here. However, even though Grayson sleeps in his room now, we moved that we've kept that downstairs because I do change him downstairs a lot. So it's a very w good way. So temporarily, what I have is um, I just have his wipe sitting freely, and then I have this little basket with a plain details that a friend of mine gave me. She gave me a bunch of gifts in this basket. And this is where I keep, this is his disposable diapers right here. And then I keep his um, cloth diapers in this really cute little tin that matches his bedding. This was also a gift, um, but it just happened to match his bedding. And I, I, I like how the diapers look in it. So that's really nice. <laughs> and then in the drawers, I, I, I'm, I'm in each place its own type of person so he's got his baby legs he's got fancy hats regular hats he's got socks that look like shoes and this one socks with patterns and then solid socks and then socks that he's not grown into yet and then in the next door he's got this is his pajama door it's light because he um we just he just outgrew the previous size so right now he's been sleeping in onesies a lot but this is his pajama drawer, and then down below is um, his blanket drawer and his extra sheets. Aren't those extra sheets cute though? They go with the theme. So On this side, I keep uh, more extra blankets down below, and then those are cloth diaper things. Um, I've got the liners there, and those are flushable inserts for microbia diapers, because they're hybrids. And then... On this side, I have his disposable diapers, extra wipes, and items for his diaper pail. And then I have these. Um, these are air fresheners for nurseries and so forth. They smell like lavender. They smell wonderful. And then here is his uh, uh, diaper pail. I like this diaper pail a lot. Actually, um, it has a baking soda in it. And so every time you shut it, a little bit gets sprinkled out, and it really helps with smell. He, we've got this little sack. This is a little um, wet bag, but a friend of mine got me this, but I loved it. It's made out of recycled materials, and I love it so much. Like, I, I've just never used it. Um, I can't bear to, and I think it looks absolutely perfect on the walls. And it's got um, stamps from the world, around the world, and the little airplane detail there, and the postmarks, and isn't this just adorable? And like I said, it's recycled, and... It's, it's really neat. I just love how it looks on the wall. So that's, it's become a decoration. And then this is my favorite right here. This painting. It's just so whimsical. you got the little elephant. He's coming in for his landing. <laughs> and the little birds greeting him. And I just love this. Like I said, his room, you know, it's, it's, um, it needed a little bit more whimsy. And so this, this adds you know, a little bit more of a child element to it. So, and um, all the frames we got at um, an art store called Michael's, and we had just, you know, had the matting done there as well. So, last but not least, we have the closet. This is his closet. So, I have um, his clothing. Um, this is his current size right here, spread out. And then this is the next size where I'm getting things above it. Um, these are my um, separators. So, 
Then I have um, extra hangers. We have his um, pack and play up there. We put away his bassinet. Um, his baby bath is put away. This is where we kind of keep, you know, his excess things. Those of you who see my tour of Sophie's room, you know I'm very kind of organized. So, yes. <laughs> Here's um, one of Grayson's diaper bags that was personalized for him. This is cute. Okay, there's... <laughs> This is his hamper. Um, it's a shark. It's even got little fins, so <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. And these are his um, built-in shelves, and he's got shoes. Um, this is where I keep my uh, nursing covers and my boppy covers, which I don't really need anymore, and extra receiving blankets, extra burp cloths. These are items that he don't fit him yet. He's growing into. Hey, miscellaneous. And that box there is full of all the clothes from zero to nine months that um, I've kept uh, for, you know, possible next baby. So, I really like my... <laughs> I just keep them in a box. So yeah, so there's this closet. And I even keep the clothes um, organized. It's like pants, so, uh, straight up onesies, collared onesies, um, shirts, and full body suits, etc. So, so this is his nursery, finally. Finally showing it. I hope you guys enjoyed this travel themed nursery. I had a lot of fun putting this room together and I really feel like it will grow well with him as he gets older. <laughs>